Hello, welcome back, Fred in the Shed. And before I get started on this video where I want to test my Antron 99 with the Nano VNA Analyzer, I'd just like to say a massive thanks for the response from the last video where I was retest testing these 771 fake antennas. Um, <laughs> I was actually completely overwhelmed by it. It was brilliant. I put that video up and then I went away and we had some sort of dinner with the family. And when I came back, there was, over, there was more than a dozen comments straight away, people offering some really, really good advice uh, to help me along with that video. And it just carried on through the evening. As I say, I was completely uh, sort of humbled and overwhelmed by it. People really, really trying to help me move on with the project. And I really, really appreciate it. And uh, the comments are really important. Not only does it obviously help me learn and help me sort of move on with the videos and make the videos more interesting, but these videos are gonna be up on the channel for years. I'm not going to be taking them down anytime soon. So your comments will be there for years in advance as well and that's to help future people coming along because you know the radio side of Fred in the Shed has always been very very basic I, I do appreciate and understand that some of the uh, more technical guys among you you must kind of roll your eyes and shake your head some of the stuff that I try um, I, I appreciate it must be quite frustrating for you to see me blunder through this I do appreciate that but what you have to understand is that I get lots of comments um, weekly from people that are just starting out in radio, older guys like myself that maybe have had a radio up in and off for 40 years and they watch my videos, find that encouraging that I'm back on radio and they come back themselves and also younger guys as well that you know don't want to use their mobile phones, don't just want to use Zello. They, 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 they've got an interest in radio and by watching my videos and yeah, but watching me make mistakes and things and then reading your comments, that, that really helps people kind of get their enthusiasm for radio. And that's what the channel's all about. It's just trying to keep radio alive. And it's really difficult in 2020 with all new technology and things, just trying to get radio alive. And some of these new people, they will come on to radio, they might, uh, they'll start at CB, but a lot of them will uh, quickly progress to HF gear and then they'll go and do their tickets and they'll become hams. And, and that's keeping that side, the amateur radio side, alive as well. And that's really important. Again, that's a hobby that's not as popular as it once was. So I'd like a big, really thanks up. Thank you for all the, all the really positive comments. There was only just, I think, one slightly kind of uh, non-negative comment. You, you do sort of get that. Um, but yeah, that, that was really great. Um, blown away by all that. Thanks again. Now, just before we get on to the Antron, which I know is what what's the video is about, um, I've not completely given up with these fake 771 antennas. Uh, I'm coming to the conclusion that I think they are rubbish, but I've not given up. And most of the comments that came back were is in the way I tested these with the antenna using the patch lead. And yeah, people have said that that's that's fine, but then I wasn't giving the antenna a chance because it had no ground plane. I was only sort of testing half an antenna. I totally get that. When you think about it, an antenna that's attached to a radio, you, you've just got the chassis of the radio, you're holding it in your hand, so part of your body is also becoming the sort of ground plane. And that will or should lower the SWR. So what I've done, and if you follow my community tag in the channel, you, you'll notice that I've ordered a little coupler there a little male to male coupler that will allow me to attach the antenna straight onto the meter and hopefully using the sort of body here of the meter on my hand holding it hopefully we'll do another SWR check and see if maybe the SWR comes down uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen people have said you know you need to hold it right close to your head that's going to be difficult for me to do and try and video it on camera but what I can do is obviously I can hold it and encapsulate it with my hands so it gets a good contact with my skin and uh, yeah we'll just see in a future video say so when that coupler arrives it's on order at the moment but we'll just see whether that does affect the SWR I think it might because one thing that when I thought about it after I made the video and I did rather slate these antennas two years ago when I used it on the triple eight I did get pretty good results I thought it wasn't completely disastrous it didn't completely not work so yeah, it's interesting, and that's well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy finding out. But anyway, on this video, um, waffling on too much. Got this little sort of uh, pigtail lead, if you like. This, this would allow 
the Nano VLA there to connect up to my Antron 99 and uh, yeah gonna go out and sort of see what results to get back on the Antron 99 bearing in mind the Antron 99 it's had a really rough time this year it's been through two quite major storms and I did do videos on those it's really been knocked about up there so um, I haven't checked the SWR I, honestly, because because I use because the Yasu 450 it's just got a built-in antenna tuner, I've become a bit lazy. I've got no high SWR warnings from the antenna, but I imagine the SWR has crept up. And also, we're really interested to see what frequencies that antenna is most resonant on. Hopefully, it should be around the 27305. So anyway, we're going to go out to the shed, uh, connect this up, and let's hope. Hopefully, it's going to work. And uh, Going to sort of see what we got. I will be calibrating this as well. I'll do that off camera with the little sort of caps there. Obviously, uh, you've seen all that before. But that's coming up right now. So cheers. Thanks for sticking with it. All right. So here we are. It's the old faithful Antron 99. Still standing. Still there. The two two bad storms, and she's still there. So this comes down by I think it's 213 coax there, and that's straight into there you go. Straight into the shed there through the hole, and I've bypassed this rather horrible mixing box that I'm still using and a little uh, pigtail thingy bob there and straight into the meter now I've calibrated this to uh, 25 to 28 megs and hopefully I know this is really bad with reflections in here but hopefully you can see that and it's a bit difficult one-handed but at the lowest peak the antenna is resonant at about 27.6 megs and on the FM chart on the FM channels that's going to be down low isn't it that's going to be what channel 5 something like that channel 4 channel 5 so that's a little bit high to be honest um, I like to use 27305 that's my chosen channel and if I sort of go up to around there 27320 yeah it could be a little bit better it's not quite resonant on the frequency that i want so there's room for improvement there when i bring it down i do need to think about giving it a service it, it uh, does need a coat of varnish because it's starting to splinter so yeah straight away that's showing me that i have got a little bit of room for improvement right let's check the swr and see how badly that has gone out through the two storms Right, I've shut the door, which has helped with the reflection. So here we are on the SWR scale. It's actually better than I thought. It's not really gone out very much at all. And if I sort of set this round about the 27305, if I go to about there, and uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, if I get it on the screen, the SWR 1.2, which is pretty good actually, one to two is good. And at its lowest point, which again is around uh, 27.6 we've got an SWR of 1 to 1 6 so yeah the SWR's held really really well um, not, the storm doesn't seem to have affected that so yeah 1 to 1 1 to 6 um, or sorry 1 to 1 to 2 6 perfectly uh, perfectly happy with that hopefully the nanometer is accurate as I say you know I know I know some of you don't think much of these but I thought for what they cost, I'm hoping it's sort of accurate. But yeah, one, one to uh, one to one six there on the SWR. Quite pleased with that. So yeah, the Antron seems to be sort of doing okay. Uh, I'm probably not I'm not going to even bother adjusting that to be honest. There's no point, is there? Even on the frequency that I want to use, even moving up to the sort of 26 there. We're only going up to one and a half, and uh, you know, even if we go right up to the 10 meter band. 1.36 something like that so uh, no I'm not going to adjust that I'm going to I'm going to take that I was certainly going to sort of take that and there we go so yeah that's the nanometer using it with the Antron 99 this is really what I want to use it for obviously the sort of uh, tw 2 meter 70, 70, 70 centimeter stuff is just sort of playing about getting used to using the meter this is what I want to use it for is testing CB antennas and uh, yeah building my own as well building some dipoles in the garden so that is going to be coming up on later videos I can't tell you when because work's really busy at the moment and we're all locked down and stuff like that but look out for that on uh, later videos but as for now as always cheers thank you very much for watching thanks for your view time really really appreciate it really do enjoy the comments really really enjoying this sort of learning 
of the antenna sort of side of it. So please, please, please stay safe, stay indoors if the lockdown's still on when this video comes on, and uh, stay healthy. And of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers now. Oh.